Hi everyone, welcome to Word for the Weekend. It's great to be uh, spending some time with you on these broadcasts and I really do appreciate your company and so here we are word for the weekend and just a little snippet uh, that dropped into my heart to share with you and I, I was doing some DIY well it wasn't so much DIY it was actually making something yes I said making something because really those if any those that know me know full well I am not the kind of making guy do you remember the last time we we shared I was out in the garden and I said I'm I'm not really uh, a gardener well I'm not a DIY I'm not a, a practical person in that sense but as I've got older I found that I actually started to enjoy doing more stuff like that and as this, this is a bench really uh, that I wanted to make for my wife in the corner so that she can, she loves her garden as I shared before and uh, she can put her compost on it and a nice height and she can do uh, all the things she does in her creativity. And so we came up, we, we bought a little bit of wood and so yesterday uh, I put the thing together uh, out of fear and trepidation, but it got it's there and she's happy and it looks okay and it's functional. But you know, as I was doing the finishing touches, I had this triumphant sense in my spirit of oh wow, you know. And I thought of uh, Philippians four thirteen, where Paul said, "I can do all things through Christ." who strengthens me but you know I amused to myself because as I thought about that I had this download to share with you now in these moments you know Paul I can do all things through Christ if we just lift that text out of context it can sound like well I can do anything I mean I can I could be a brain surgeon, I could be an opera singer, I can do... And trust me, you would not want me in the operating theatre and you would not want me to be listening to me if I was attempting to sing some sort of opera. So it's not true, is it? Uh, I, I can't, in that context, I can't do everything. I can't just pluck out something and say, well, I can do that. But what we've got to do is to see the context of what Paul was saying here. And remember that the letter to the Philippians was written from jail. Paul was in prison and he was incarcerated for preaching the gospel. And it is a fascinating uh, letter. And following through and there's been many teaching sermon teaching series on that and you'll probably find it other preachers and teachers sharing something about the book of Philippians uh, so he's right writing from prison and, he, and he's he's incarcerated so he when he says I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me he or he's not Say, well, he's not saying, well, I can just bust, bust out of jail if I want to. No, he can't. But what he is saying, he's saying that he was in the centre of God's will. And I just pick up here. It says, I know what it is to be in need. So he's in need. And he said, I know what it is to have plenty. And I've learned the secret. He is learning the secret, friends. Learn the secret of being content 
in every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or want, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That is the context. So what does that mean to you and me? It means this. As we surrender our life to Christ, as we surrender our life to him on a daily basis for his will to be done, we want to walk in his will. We don't want to be conformed to this world. We don't want to be, but we want to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And as we surrender ourselves to his will on a daily basis, whatever comes our way, whatever challenges we face, just as Paul faced those challenges from that jail, we too, whatever circumstances, we find ourselves in and we know that right now that there are brothers and sisters throughout the world who are incarcerated for their faith the the suffering church and uh, we we don't have to go very far to see what's going on in the body of Christ but I'll tell you something wherever that the suffering church is in the world you will find a group a body of people who know that they can do all things through Christ, that they can face their difficulty, they can walk through their circumstance because they're in the centre of God's will. That is the key, friends. If we're in the will of God and stuff comes our way, God's put us there and God will bring us through what we're going through. And he will bring you through right now. So here's the thing. First of all, are we in the centre of God's will? If not, why not? Why not you just right now watching this say, Lord, I want to be in the centre of your will. I, I don't want to go to the rear, veer to the left or the right. I just want to be in the centre of your will. And it's God's will for us to be saved. It's God's will for us to be healed. It's God's will for us to be restored. And just to press in and push through to be in the centre of his will. It's God's will for us to share the gospel wherever we are. And you might think, well, I don't know how to do that. Well, if it's his will for us to share it, he will enable us to do it. Because we can say with Paul, I can do all things. All things. As you're watching this, why don't you write that down? Why don't you speak it out loud and say, as I surrender my life to God, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You can. We will. So let's commit ourselves to him. I'm going to pray and wish you a good day. Father, I just pray for each one who's watching now, wherever they are in the world, that you will touch and heal and restore. I pray for those who are find themselves in situations that look impossible. Help them to look to you that they have, as they look to you to know that they can go through this, that underneath and round about are the everlasting arms and that you will, you, you said, I'll never leave you or forsake you. Lord, I bring your comfort and your, and your presence, your healing and your restoration into everyone who, in the sound of my voice, in Jesus' name, amen. Well, listen, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to the YouTube channel and, and share it on your social media platform because together we will get the message out. And don't forget, if you have prayer requests and you will just message me, get in touch and I will pray for you. If it's possible, I will get in touch, but I'm not sure that's always the way, but I will definitely 
pray for you. God bless you, friends. Until 